Welcome to this IRIS training for the Division of Developmental Disabilities at the State of South Dakota Department of Human Services. This training module covers service requests from the perspective of a case manager. The learning objectives for this module are to teach you how to perform the following tasks. Create a service request and approve or deny the request. First, let's see how to create a service request. As a case manager, you'll be working in the case management app within IRIS. This is a list of your active cases. For the purposes of this training, we'll create a service request for Miriam Graham, a current participant. To begin, open the case record. Next, open the service plans tab. Here you can see any existing service plans for the participant. In this case, we'll create a new one. To do so, click New Service Plan. Here you'll fill in general information about the service plan. Note that fields marked with a red asterisk are required. First, update the status reason to active. Next, specify the start and end dates for the plan. Next, specify the service plan meeting date. Save your changes. Next, open the service request tab. Next, click new service request. Notice the business process flow at the top of the screen. You're in the first stage of the Authorization Approval Flow, CM Creation. Here you'll enter general information for the service request. First, indicate the request type. For an initial or annual service request, you'll select the first option. Otherwise, you'll indicate whether the service request is for a service or provider change. In this case, we'll select Initial and Annual Authorization. Notice that a new tab appears based on the request type that is selected. We'll look at this tab in a moment. Next, specify the submission date for the service request. Save your changes. Next, open the initial and annual authorization tab. Here you'll indicate which services the participant will be receiving. In this example, we'll request to add a facility-based day service and virtual day support to the participant's plan. Scroll down to continue. Here you'll add the details for each service. In the facility-based day service section, specify the service. Next, specify the agency that will be providing the service. Next, specify the funding source. Next, enter the number of new hours per week that the participant will be receiving the service. Notice that the start and end date of the service are populated automatically. For the purposes of this training, we'll quickly fill in the details for the virtual day support service. Save your changes. Before continuing, let's see what happens if we try to increase a service instead. Because we selected Initial and Annual Authorization as the service request type, 
we can only add a service. Click OK. Change the action back to Add and then save the page again. Return to the General tab. Next, enter the reason for the service changes. You're now ready to move on to the next stage in the authorization approval flow. Next, let's see how reviewers approve or deny the request. First, click the CM creation icon in the business process flow. Next, approve or deny the request. In this case, we'll approve it. Advance to the next stage of the business process flow. This is the CSP review stage of the authorization approval flow. During this stage, the Community Support Provider, or CSP Billing Administrator, will review the service request in the DHS Provider Portal. You can monitor the review status from the General tab. Scroll down to take a look. Refresh the Acknowledgements table. The system automatically creates a CSP acknowledgement for each service on the service request. Each acknowledgement is reviewed by the CSP Billing Administrator. Notice that the review status of each acknowledgement is currently pending. Refresh the table again. Once the CSP Billing Administrator completes their review, they will update the status of each acknowledgement to corrections needed or accepted. In this case, the hours for the first service need to be corrected. Notice that the authorization approval flow automatically returned to the CM creation stage, so you can make the correction. Next, click the CSP review icon. Here you can see that the CSP review status is denied. Next, return to the Initial and Annual Authorization tab and update the hours for the service. To send the service request to the CSP Billing Administrator for review again, click the CM Creation icon. Next, indicate that the necessary updates have been made. Advance to the next stage of the business process flow. Close the pane and return to the General tab to monitor the status of the acknowledgements. Refresh the Acknowledgements table. Notice that two new acknowledgements have been created, one for each service in the updated service request. Refresh the table again. This time, the CSP Billing Administrator accepted both acknowledgements. The service request will now move to the next stage of the authorization approval flow automatically. In the IRIS app, the users at the State of South Dakota Division of Developmental Disabilities will now complete their review. This training module is now complete. Thanks for watching.